My name is Adrian Nanchev and this channel is all about helping you become a remarkable entrepreneur. So click on the subscribe button below and press the bell notification next to it for the latest uploads. Now, beware the Luddites. In 18th century England, Luddites were people who were normally self-employed like um, cloftsmen or weavers, I don't know, self-employed craftsmen. They were the guys who were opposed to industrialization, and they would actively steal or destroy uh, 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 factory machinery because they didn't like how the machines were taking their jobs. Now, the flaw and the thing to avoid with Luddites is, from an economics point of view, increased productivity is key, which means people lose their jobs because these robots automation is much more cheaper and faster and more efficient and that frees up people's time to become entrepreneurs to do things better with their time and to change the world in their own way put it this way if mark zuckerberg was too preoccupied or bill gates was too preoccupied with, with um, growing his own food as opposed to buying it at the supermarket they wouldn't have built their respective businesses that, that freeing up your time allows you to do more and much bigger things. That allows you to create new kinds of products and industries and change the world in your own way. So Luddites are people that are purposely holding back business and productivity, arguably for their own selfish desires, because it's going to cost them their job or their livelihood. And they're not thinking about the bigger picture or understanding what it means for the wider economy. So these people will also hold you back from becoming an entrepreneur. They will also hold you back from changing your own life. They will want to see you and in the kind of life and, atti life and attitude you used to have. They won't understand how you're moving on to bigger and better things, but they will want you to remain as you are. So these Luddites are, are, quite, are quite selfish people because they will dest actively destroy other people's property or hold people back purely because of their own selfish desires. When you don't understand that, increased productivity is key. When, for example, someone becomes unemployed from the uh, McDonald's kind of thing, the $15, $15 an hour thing in the States, Seattle approved it recently. Uh, so, they are, they are now going to get unemployed because of the rising costs of, of their labour. So that means they're unemployed. So rather than, rather than arguing, uh, bitching and whining about it, they can then say, have a bit of critical thought, have a bit of introspection and retrospection and think, okay, what can I do now? What can I do now with my existing talents? Look inwards and think. Hmm. What can I do with my talents? What do I know? What do I don't know? Who do I know? Who knows me? What can I do with my talents in order to monetize it and work for myself? Because a lot of people talk about how oh, the the, um, the 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 employer is exploiting the, the the exploiting the workers, but even though the worker voluntarily works for the worker. And arguably, he can leave at any time. And little does little does the worker know. A lot, you see. You don't. I see. The world doesn't tell you about a lot of things, but little does the worker know. He can be self-employed and start his own business and do his own thing. But people don't always realise that for one reason or another. He can start his own business. Learn, read the right books. Learn the right. Subscribe to the right channels. Do the right. Do the right things. And he can change his life. Twelve. Twelve months from now, complete. Complete. Complete different life. But. They don't always realise this kind of stuff, but hey, these things happen. So, the question of the day is, who is the Luddite in your life? Who is holding you back from being a better person? There's no one really holding me back. I'm try I'm in fact, the opposite, I'm trying to push some people into entrepreneur, one person at least. Well, the at least one person into it, to being a key, a key person of influence in their own sector. So if anything, I'm, I'm actually the opposite. I'm actually trying to push someone into being an entrepreneur. So, I'm not, no one holding me back. But question of the day is, who is holding you back? And also remember that this channel is all about helping you become a remarkable entrepreneur. So click on the subscribe button below and press the bell notification next to it for the latest uploads. How cool is that?